like TTT right here at the Victory Monument yeah. in Bangkok. This symbol represents the end of the Franco Wars period in the Kingdom of Thailand. This is a major symbol of why Thailand was never colonized by the white man. Right here, the Victory Monument in downtown Bangkok. Peace and love to everyone. So yeah, guys, if you've never studied any Thai history, I would encourage you to Google the Victory Monument here in the Kingdom of Thailand, and you can read the entire story and follow the links on uh, Wikipedia or wherever you want to go about the history of the Franco Wars in Thailand. But this basically, from what I understand, I mean, it represents a victory, obviously, over the French, the Thai people's victory over the French, to prevent being colonized right here at the big main circle of Victory Monument. That's a beautiful monument, guys. No kidding, it's an excellent read. I don't remember all the history right off the cuff, but I uh, had some of my students do presentations, speaking presentations about this monument right here. And uh, it's a very, very interesting uh, period in, in Thai history. I'd encourage you to go back and look at that. How can you immigrate to another country and not learn some of its history and have a deep understanding of at least part of their cultural ways? And that all ties in to the history of the kingdom, right? So when you become immersed into a country and you're no longer a tourist, you're no longer a traveler, you done graduated to a immigrant that's committed to living here full time the rest of your life, and go back to your home country for a month in the summer, right? When you're that immersed, then studying Thai history really just kinda, kinda makes you feel at home. Really, really does. So rather than uh, think about all of the, the famous areas of Bangkok that are celebrated in the movies, take a look at this. That's one of the most beautiful things you're gonna see in this city right here. At the Victory Monument Circle. The Big Bango with the buses and the motorcycles and everybody running around, taxis everywhere, BTS train station, not far. Yeah, man, beautiful area. Beautiful. And then sometimes when you're in Bangkok, in a tuk-tuk, it's like 95 degrees with 3,000% humidity. And you have to sit in traffic. You got no airflow, you know what I'm saying? It's really not that hot, man. It's a cool experience. Want to stick the head out? Let's go outside, see what's up.
Thank you.